Tonight, I want every American whose demands for immigration security have been denied, and every politician who has denied them, to listen very, very closely to the words I am about to say. On January 20th of 2017, the day I take the oath of office, Americans will finally wake up in a country where the laws of the United States are enforced. We are going to be considerate and compassionate to everyone. But my greatest compassion will be for our own struggling citizens. Donald Trump making a passionate case to the American people as he accepted the nomination for president a few hours ago. But was his message enough to sway independent voters and maybe some Democratic voters? Let's talk to that guy down at the end. Uh, Frank Luntz spoke with undecided Ohio voters after the convention. Are you surprised at what they had to say? I'm not, because the four days were the most effective destruction of the Clinton record over the last quarter century of anything I've ever seen. Really? Point by point, detail by detail, foreign policy, domestic policy, and frankly, integrity. And over the first three nights, they had basically picked her apart to the point where our independent voters, our undecided voters, not one of them is considering voting for Hillary Clinton now. None of the independents? None. We had 20 people here. They came every night. Zero are considering voting for Hillary Clinton. That tells me that her unfavorability, which is now around 51, 52, is going to go into the upper 50s, could even, could even touch 60 before the Democratic convention begins. Unbelievable. Now, in terms of Donald Trump, his presentation of principles and his overall action, uh, his priorities fit with these undecided voters, whether they were leaning Democrat or Republican, didn't matter. It's when they got to the details, for example, building the wall, mm -hmm. a big applause line among Republicans, not among undecided voters, trade, big applause line, once again, among his base, not as much so among those who are, say, upper middle class. Mm -hmm. The details are holding him back, but his delivery was the best that I've ever seen. Off prompter. His passion they responded to, yeah. and they're all giving him another look. So when it was done, out of the 28 of them are supporting Donald Trump. Now, you sat down with the focus group, and you asked them what they thought about the speech last night, and I think we have a clip of that. We'll yep. talk about it. Great. I came into this never Trump. I'm 39 years old. That was the best speech by a presidential candidate I've heard in my entire life. Ever. Ever. And I don't say that lightly, because I've heard them all. You came in Bernie Sanders. I am now Donald Trump. I feel uh, patriotism. I feel completely safe. I feel that there's love of country. And with a, a leader like Donald Trump, okay, who believes in the people, the chaos in this country will turn to unity. You were never Trump. I was never Trump. I mean, he made the case against Hillary Clinton. She's damaged goods. Half of Democrats don't trust her. She's out for herself, and he's saying he's out for everybody. He's got a couple more months to reach out and really prove it. Right. And you mentioned he did mention Bernie Sanders a couple of times in the speech. So he's not giving up on getting the Sanders voters. And if you're over age 40, you absolutely are considering Trump if you were a Sanders voter, because what I thought was the best line of the convention was Mike Pence. The idea that she wants to be the secretary for the status quo. That line affected and it's, it's been lost, but that line affected our focus group. Unbelievable. Uh, we've got another clip from your chat with the focus folks. Here they are reacting to Hillary. Hillary is, she's a liar, and she's a murderer, and a murderer, a, a murderer. Yes. You, you're calling. <laughs> yes, I am. It's the truth. That's what she is. Why are you never Hillary? But because, well, her, her, for a lot of the other reasons, she's corrupt. She's a liar. She's an unindicted criminal. These are harsh words. And, and, and I gave them a chance to take it back because it's live television. Yeah. They didn't. The segment that's going to determine this election is about 11 percent, and they are none of the above. They think that she's a liar, and they think that he's too filled with hate. And his speech and the convention convinced them that she doesn't have the integrity to be president. It's now over. What happens next? What was accomplished? So it, 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 her destruction, now she's going to try to rebuild it at her convention. But I want to be very careful here. In 2012, 
millions of people thought that Mitt Romney was going to win on election night based on what they saw in the coverage. And I think that we have a responsibility to be careful in how we report this. So, I, yes, it really did undercut her campaign. But Donald Trump still has a way to go to convince them that he is a legitimate alternative. But he can win. Absolutely he can win. And in fact, these debates, I predict, are going to be the most watched debates ever in American right. history. I can hardly wait to see the ratings for last night. Oh, yes. Uh, All right, so Frank, much, thank Frank. you very much. Thanks. Great All job right. this week. Thank you.